Here's a quick tip on how to produce or mix your guitar tracks, acoustic or electric, in a way that moves the song along, even if the guitar riff itself is not changing throughout the song. Let's take a look. Here's the guitar part with no changes, and then we'll make a couple quick tricks with EQ to make it even better. <laughs> Okay, so here we're going from that intro where the acoustic guitar riff is the central focus of the song into the verse where the softer, kind of lighter vocals take the center of the production. So how do we get that acoustic guitar out of the way if we don't want to get rid of the acoustic guitar? One way you can do that is by automating the EQ to cut that focus out once it gets to the verse, and then later, maybe we can bring it back in. So the way we'll do that is I'm just going to turn my automation on here. I actually have two acoustic guitar tracks going. They're panned left and right. And they were recorded separately. And you can see I actually did those individually. But here, and what I should have done, is actually just do it on the bus, on that group of the acoustic guitars. In this case, instead of doing those individually, I am just going to use my main EQ. And we're going to automate this high cut filter downward once it gets to the verse so that it's a more subdued, kind of muddier part once those vocals come in. I'm going to go ahead and there are a couple ways you can do this. I'm going to just turn this to touch so that I can just write it in as it's playing. So as we play it. <laughs> So now you can see that that's been drawn in here. And when I listen back to it, it'll keep that automation um, as it's going. So let's hear it now. I can see you've got a certain sweat. So now it still has that kind of undercurrent of the rhythm of that acoustic guitar. And I'll uh, move this over here just so we're uh, it's up. We can hear it a little bit. It'll still have that undercurrent of the acoustic guitar rhythm, but it's definitely not the focus any longer. So when we just solo that acoustic part, Think it you can hear it's very much now in the background of the production. The next place that we'll use this trick is going into the pre-chorus and to the chorus. Again, it's the same acoustic riff. I just really liked that rhythm in this song, but in order to build the song's tension and move it forward into the next part so that you're just, you're almost pushed into the next part as a listener, uh, what we're going to do here is automate that EQ back up, which is gonna add that high-end energy back into the tracks and just really open up the experience for the listeners. So this is my, I have my marks up here. So I'm gonna have my pre-chorus as kind of one area that's one point that it's gonna reach up to, and we wanna fully open it up again by the time it gets it to the chorus. So instead of drawing this in, I'm just gonna draw in my automation lines here um, where I don't have to set it to touch or read. I'm just gonna draw those points in in this case. So I'm gonna move one point right to where that pre-chorus starts. I want this to start about you know halfway through that last little stanza going into the um, going into the pre-chorus. And instead of bringing it all the way up, let's bring it to um, around you know 4,000-ish um, for that for that high-end cutoff. And I'll bring that EQ up so you can hear, is that it's, hear it as it's coming back into the mix. And let's just uh, bring that all the way back up to 20,000. Okay, so we'll bring this up and let's watch this as it is playing. Your heels are clicking down each path you're after And every step you take makes the world move So keep your eyes wide open now On the floor without looking down Keep your head up in those clouds You're pulling me right off the ground Cause you in that jacket makes me feel something fantastic And you in that dress got me throwing hashtag blessed Whatever say So again, we're using this technique this time to build energy going into that chorus. And before we were 
taking out some of that energy so that the focus stayed on that softer vocal during the verse, giving us that little dip of EQ throughout the verse, building it through the pre-chorus, and then really opening it up wide once it gets back to that chorus part. So that's a quick tip you can use when you have a guitar part that might sound a little too repetitive on its own or conflict with vocals or other parts of your song when you want that focus to be shifting throughout your production. If you liked this tip, uh, definitely subscribe for more. I've been trying out some more of these tutorial style videos um, for just for things that I've learned over the course of me figuring out music production. I hope they're helpful. I hope you guys like the song. Uh, if you want to see anything else, just let me know in the comments and uh, let me know if it's helpful. Again, thank you. This is Marcus, aka Cradle Cat. Uh, thanks for watching. I can see you've got a certain swagger. I think it has something to do with your shoes. Your heels are clicking.